Hi everybody! I'm really excited to show you my new dishes I made. They are made from porcelain and I colored porcelain and used it in my dishes. In this video I'm going to show you how to make these in a really easy and fast way. At the end of the video I will show you my recipes, how much color you need the porcelain. So keep on watching and let's have fun! By the way, don't forget to put on a mask. There are two methods for mixing color into clay. The wet one and the dry one. The wet method involves less work and isn't that complicated, but it can be a little bit messy. This is the method you will learn in this issue. Write down everything you mix so you can repeat it. Weighting, measuring and recording are the key of the success for this issue. Begin by weighing out your clay and stain. I mix one blue color in four different shades, but I'll tell you more about this further on in the video. I begin by using a little bit of water so the stain sticks better to the clay. Then you put the stain on the wet clay. Start to wedge and knead the color into the clay, but there is no easy way to do this. In a perfect world, we would first make examples, but then we have to wait for the results. You can start with 100 grams of clay. You might find it useful to mix a batch of colors to a darker color than you need. You can tone down the color by kneading in more white clay to create very delicate shades as you need. It is easier to store one bag of deeply colored clay than lots of bags in carrying shades of the same. So when you have mixed in all the stain and you decide the color is too dark, weight an amount of the, the colored clay and an amount of white clay. Record the weights, then knead the two together. Okay, the big question is now, when is the clay ready? The color is thoroughly mixed when you can no longer see no specks or streaks in the clay. Keep kneading until you get to this stage. Roll the white color into a long thin coil. I roll out a little slab in the darkest color. Use a little bit of water to make the coal stick. Here you can see that I work with sepia color in three different shades and a white color. Roll the slip over the coral carefully to contain it completely without trapping air. Cut the enclosed coral as close to the join as possible. Now it's just a matter of repeating this process with different shades or colors until you are satisfied with your pattern. Sometimes your slab is not big enough, just stick a little piece of clay on it and roll out the slab further. Mm -hmm. 
Roll the thick coils lightly to ensure that all components adhere together. And then you just cut the coil at the end to reveal the pattern you have created. A hole has formed in the center of the coil while rolling. Cut another piece off until no hole is visible anymore. Cut a series of thinner sections from your coil. On a sheet of cling film or a sheet of cotton, lay the sections side by side in a pleasing arrangement. You can use a little bit of water to make them stick better. Place a second cling film over the top of the arrangement and roll the shapes into a slab. You can use roller guides for an even section. Cut the slab to your preferred shape. Smooth the edge with your finger. And of course, don't forget to put on your name. Drape the slab over a mold to form a simple dish. Just don't push too hard. Push with a little bit of care. When the dish is firmed up to the point where it won't distort when handled, very carefully scrape back the surface using a metal kidney or scraper to more clearly reveal the patterning colors in the clay. This one is 1.5%, that's 3% and that one is 6%. Earlier in the movie you saw the pattern I was making with the sepia color. Unfortunately this broke during the scraping, so please be careful when you do this process. This is 2%, 4%, 6% and 8%. This is the same color but that one is 1.5% and the other one is 3%. As you can see, they are almost identical. So for this stain, you could use less than 1%. But I just made them to show you that some colors don't need that much of stain. You just can't see the difference anymore. Now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon. And please don't forget to subscribe.